going to be taking over the show today because I'm going to be behind the scenes, busy working on this week's drops, but I wanted to let you guys know that I am here. I'm going to be with Laura for the next couple of weeks, which is, again, I love, love being with you, <laughs> working together in New York, it's going to be amazing. So as I mentioned, Laura's going to be taking over this show. I'm going to be working behind the scenes on this week's shows. Now, I do want to mention Friday we are going to be doing a jewellery and watch special show. So usually we do Friday super locks, but I want to uh, basically take over the Superlux and do all watches and jewellery. So that's what's coming up on Friday. We've got between two and three shows a day happening from New York over the next couple of weeks. So get ready. It's going to be really, really busy. Today slightly later, but um, for the rest of the week we'll be live from 3 till 5 p.m. EST. I'm going to head off and watch from behind the scenes and get to work with building the rest of the week's shows. And yeah, see you guys soon. All Bye right. Guys. So guys, seriously, like the work that we're getting done today for what we're gonna bring you guys later this week is insane. So I hope you guys are all excited to have Grace back and Kristen is our lovely moderator here on the show today. So first and foremost, thank you so much Kristen for being here and also welcome everybody. My name is Laura Lee from New York City. Um, we have a really good mix to show you guys today. It's gonna be kind of short and sweet since we are starting a little bit later. Um, so I'm gonna work fast, but there's some great deals to be had here. Hi, Aqua, I see Barbara, Jen A, all the icons in the house. So thank you guys for being here nice and early with us. I really appreciate it. So first and foremost, I hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, it is Monday, so anything that is purchased during today's live will be shipping out tomorrow morning. Shipping is very fast out of here. We love it. Um, so if you guys are an American customer in the USA, you are considered a domestic customer during this live. So shipping will be 10 pounds for you. If you're outside of the USA, then you're international and shipping will be 35 pounds. Um, for everyone though, your um, customs and duties will be covered just during the duration of the live show. So definitely take advantage of that as per usual, you guys. You already know, but we accept all major forms of payment. So credit cards, debit cards, PayPal, Apple Pay, the whole shebang, kit and caboodle, we take it. Um, and then lastly, you do have the option to use Split It. With Split It, you just need to have the item you purchase. Oh my gosh, Ellen, I missed you. It looked like you had an amazing time and I'm so happy you got to reconnect with your family. That was an amazing trip that you were on, but welcome back. <laughs> so um, yes, with Split It, you guys, um, it allows you to finance an item up to a whole year, so 12 months. You just have to have the item of purchase's full amount available on a credit card. If that's the case, you're able to break up that purchase over the span of 12 months. If at any point you decide you're ready to pay it off, you can, you're not stuck with the 12 month agreement. It just pays you go and then you can pay it off at any point. So hopefully that's helpful. But without further ado, you guys, if you know me, you know I like to <clears throat> hook you guys up with some of the best priced pieces at the beginning of the show to thank you guys for being my early birds. Oh, I'm so happy, girl. We missed you. We've been talking about you. <laughs> um, okay, so let's dive into some great pieces today. I'm going to start, this might be a little like crazier early bird special, but I have a great Chanel piece for a great price. And it seemed like you guys were eating up Chanel on the last show. So let's keep the Chanel boat a roll in. So let me get Kristen our first skew. Okay, so the first item is going to be 118288, and this is our Chanel Beige Mademoiselle Lock East West Flat Bag. This is a stunning little shoulder bag moment option. Hi, Shanna, how are you? Good afternoon. Look at this. So this is a nice kind of darker toned beige lambskin, long, almost baguette style single flap from Chanel with silver hardware. You have that East West turn lock style plate front and center with some loud and proud chanel branding there here it is on i think this is so chic it's different it's like the perfect mix of classic but different something you don't see all the time but still instantly recognizable as chanel if that makes sense to you guys so you do have the two straps and you can pull through to convert into a crossbody option so here it is on it would be a bit of a higher cross i am five foot five for reference, a little like sporty high cross moment, or just a really flattering <laughs> B, did you see it? Yeah, it's my early bird Chanel special, you guys. Hi D, welcome, how are you? Happy Monday. So this is gonna be more of like a seven out of 10 condition level piece. You can just tell she has been lived in a bit of discoloration to the piping here. 
but overall i don't know i think this is still a very attractive very nice looking piece it does extend out quite a bit depending how much you put in here or it can be nice and flat hi shirley happy monday queen how are you so and then there's just some smudges on this front plate i wouldn't say scratching it just needs a little wipe down and then it's looking good so let's dive inside here you open up get the stuffing out of here then you just have one big open area done in like a silver silk material we do have a visible serial code here it's a series 12 and one inner zip pocket this interior is nice and clean and there is no smell opening up the zip pocket this pocket is basically the same size it's a nice large inner zip pocket and it's equally as clean. So this is a really stunning piece. Again, a series 12 has lived a life before, but has not been beaten up, I would say. Definitely like a 7.5 out of 10 condition. It's gonna be my final answer here. And we'll get this pinned and the price revealed momentarily. As I'm showing items, you guys, they will appear on the side of your screen up here. You can click on them to view additional details, images, stuff of that nature. And also you can click to proceed to purchase if you see something you like. So this price is nuts. This is like cheaper than Louis Vuitton. I do have some LV items that are more than this Chanel lambskin option. So this is a great, great option to start us off today, you guys. This is just 945 pounds, which is 1,179 USD. It feels wrong to say that out loud when I'm talking about a lambskin Chanel piece. But hey, here we are. It's true. It's not a lie. If anyone wants to swoop this stunning piece up, if you have any questions at any point, you guys, do not hesitate to ask. I am totally here to help, as is Kristen and everyone in the house. So that is our first item. So I'm going to keep us moving. Let me know what you guys are in the mood to see, what brands we're after, what we're vibing with. Hello, M. Happy Monday. How are you? But I might keep us on a cute little mini, any heels, not in today's show, but we definitely have some in New York City, so we can be sure to put them in tomorrow's show. Tomorrow, we're doing three lives out of New York City, so definitely I'll remember and get them in a show for you, Em. Okay, let's do a cutie little shoulder bag moment. Mimi, it is just as is, so no hard card. Let me double check on that for you, but let's take a look. Yeah, no hard card or any extras, but it does have its fully visible serial code, so it will just come with its luxury promise, dust bag, and authenticity card. That's for this one. Okay, let's do another Chanel option, you guys. I'm feeling really good about the Chanel pieces that I have today. So we're gonna stick to the beige story I have going on with our Chanel pieces today, but move into a wild stitch tote moment. This is stunning. I love this. I feel like I'm having a cream phase. Any white Chanel bags. I don't have a, oh, technically I have a white one, but it does feature some black leather as well. But I do have a white Gucci bag and a silver Chanel, not white. I don't know why I would equate that. Oh wait, I do. Sorry, I forgot over here. I have a wallet on chain in white. It is metallic, but it's stunning. So stay tuned, Jay. Um, up next, we're going to do 130943. This is our vintage beige lambskin um, whip stitch quilted tote. This will come with its dust bag. So if the first option maybe slightly intrigued you, but you were wishing for something bigger, I don't have any jumbos in today's show, but we will have some tomorrow. This is another great option for our neutral Chanel leather pieces today. I think this is so, so stunning. It is stuffed up right now, but it's super comfortable to wear on the shoulder. It's the perfect kind of warm tone, beigey tone, in my opinion, and then paired with the gold, it's just absolutely stunning. So I'll get you a 360 look. You have the stitching all over. Wow. And then the bottom has four gold feet, slight tarnishing to the feet, but the bottom lambskin leather looks incredible. Then our front turn lock is done in gold, and it is 24 carats gold plating. So to open, you pull up, get the stuffing out here. It does come with its dust bag. And then inside, we have this stunning kind of caramely toned inner CC 
lining. We do have an open concept pocket here. And then a zip pocket to this side. I know, right, Kristen? I feel like I never see a tote that has a proper functioning flap. So I really like this. So inside of this zip pocket is nice and clean as well. And we do have a fully visible serial code. This is a Series 7. Series 7. Let me check if it comes with its hard card. But she is stunning for being a Series 7. I really like this option now that it's unstuffed. When you wear it on the shoulder, it does kind of like flatten down a bit for comfortable wear for sure. Let's see here. Where did I put that? And then we will reveal the price for this momentarily. I just want to check if it has its hard card. There we go. How is everybody's weekend though? Let me know. I want to know. I had a really great weekend. No hard card included on this one either, but we do have a fully visible serial code. So, we're kicking things off with a neutral start. <laughs> I feel like I unintentionally was feeling a heavy neutral vibe today. All right, so this is also an incredible, incredible price, you guys. This is 1,170 pounds, which is 1,460 USD. Remember, all pieces will ship out tomorrow morning, and your customs or duties are covered during the duration of the live. So, I'm gonna keep us moving, but two great neutral lambskin options from Chanel are now up. Okay, so let's take a step away from Chanel for a moment. Let's do a cute little Gucci moment. How many times am I gonna say moment today? <laughs> Thank you guys for 60 viewers. We are starting off this Monday super strong. You guys have been so lovely on all the shows. So I super appreciate you. Next key is gonna be 130499. And this is our Gucci Gigi Canvas Abby d Ray Pochette bag. There has been a lot of requests for shoulder bags. And to me, when I think of a shoulder bag, this is kind of the silhouette that is gonna to come to mind, but it's been a minute since I've had a cute little vintage Gucci shoulder bag moment, I don't know. They've escaped me, but finally, I have one for you guys. So, this features a all leather top handle. Let me turn on the light in here, I feel like it got real dark real fast. New York has been so moody today with the lighting, like, oh, I cannot keep up. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be a crazy price too, you guys. So we have an all leather strap, gold hardware. You have a D-ring with Gucci inscribed on the bottom right here. Then the body is just normal Gucci canvas. There is a little bit of wear. Where did I see it? Maybe it was a fever dream. Cause now it looks great, what? Okay, let's go over this together. So here's the side, we'll go down and around the bottom. It's really, really clean. Susie, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm stoked to have you here. Stoked is one of my favorite words. That is such a California word. So I'm stoked that you're stoked. <laughs> then we have the gold Gucci cursive branding over here. Me too, Kristen. This is just like a classic staple to have. It's never not gonna be relevant or in style. It's an easy grab and go piece, super lightweight. Super, super comfy, and I love the ability to hang your own little charms off of the front D-ring. You can kind of personalize it, make it your own, and it does have a zip top, so everything is nice and secure inside. Zip top is super, super smooth as well. And then we have a brown canvas interior. This one also is just gonna come as is. There's a little bit of discoloration, but this is from the leather pouch on the outside, so it's not a stain or anything. It just happens with age. Robin, thank you. My plug in Koreatown, you guys, $45 for these nails. Can we believe it? I'll never get over it. <laughs> but we have one inner pocket, our inner Gucci logo, and the serial code on the back. So this is like, honestly, I would give this a 7.9 out of 10. There's a little bit of just fading to the leather on the top rim, but it's mostly on the inside. The exterior does not look that way, and it's not eye-catching either so i think this is in a great shape all things considered especially that this is like an early 2000s piece 
So it has just been pinned, and we'll get the price revealed in a second for you guys. But see, this is a super, super cute little option. I will show something similar right after this from Louis Vuitton too, so you guys can kind of compare it and contrast. But this is definitely gonna be for my neutral girlies. Just such a good staple to have. I'm anxious to see the price. I already forgot what it is, but I know it's good. <laughs> So we will see. All right, oh my gosh. If someone doesn't get this within 30 seconds, <laughs> I might give you guys a little side eye. This is 380 pounds, which is 474 USD, literally. This is cheaper than a coin purse, <laughs> cheaper than a lot of wallets. And this is like truly, it's not even like a trendy, blatantly obvious early 2000s piece. It's just a timeless, perfect Gucci shoulder bag. In my opinion, that price is good. You guys, I'm keeping my eyes peeled. Someone has to get this. Fits any size bone. It's another bag that I like to refer to as tiny but mighty. Gives the appearance of a small bag, but truly does fit all of your daily necessities to grab and go. So she is up. I'm gonna show you guys something similar next, and then we'll move into other styles, but wow. That price is everything. Okay, let me set this up. Oh. Right? Ar Arsili? Am I saying that right? Is it Arsili or Arkili? Anyway, that's a really pretty name. I've never seen it before and I really like it. Okay, gonna keep us moving. Trying to get some good, fresh start of the week deals for you guys. So, on a similar note, we have, coming up next, gonna move into some Louis Vuitton. Kristen, our SKU here is 130689D. Quick question, bought from the website item in LP for local delivery. Will you charge? I don't believe so, Dean, no. There shouldn't be customs and duties charged if it's a USA. Kristen, can you confirm? But I don't think so. Okay. But 130689 is our next piece, and it is our Louis Vuitton Cerise Monogram Mini Lin Kathleen Pochette. It's also been a minute since I featured any Mini Lin pieces. This gives the same vibe, but we do have a little bit of a pop of color, and it is more of a blatantly like Y2K early 2000s piece from Louis Vuitton. Of course. Yes, cool. Thank you, Kristen, for confirming. So this is like, if Sporty Spice from the Spice Girls was a Louis Vuitton bag, this is her. Something about this is so sporty and chic to me. I think it's so cute. It just has cream and burgundy canvas thick strap with some burgundy leather detailing, ultra shiny gold hardware, and a comfort shoulder pad on the top. More gold hardware here. So here it is on kind of what I was saying, a little bit of the same look as that Gucci bag but slightly different and a bit more sporty, but more of a pop. So the mini lin material itself reminds me of like cranberry tones. I never say it's a true pink. It's more of like a berry, but you have that cranberry monogram and then maybe a muted pinky tone behind it. And then the zip pull on these mini lin pieces is gonna be reminiscent of a Damier Abin pattern. So you do have the square for the zip with the LV in the middle. The canvas on this is ultra clean. I don't see any discoloration happening, even to the bottom. It's looking good. Same with the leather. I don't see any wear to the leather piping. So it does have a front pocket to just drop your phone in. And then another thing I love about these Minilin pieces in this colorway is the lining is baby pink in a nice, like durable canvas. So this is pinned and available now for 595 pounds, which is 743 USD. And then the main component, so this one is a bit bigger than the last Gucci option. We do have some discoloration, some stains to the interior, but this is a pre-loved early 2000s piece. So that kind of is to be expected, but the main call out here is the interior stains that are happening. Let me see if I can find our date code. This is going to be 2004. 
So next year she'll be 20 years old. <laughs> and when you put it in perspective, this really has held up beautifully other than the interior stains being our only real call out here. So she's up, she's available, I'm keeping a fast pace. Kristen, thank you for also keeping up with me. And we're going to keep moving. So let me know what you guys want to see. If we have any questions or anything, just let me know. Do you want to do bigger bags up next? Do I have any Mirakame collectors in the house? Because I have a Mirakame piece that I don't think I've ever, ever come across before. Or are we ready for a wallet on chain or a Gucci belt? I just have a lot of good things today. <laughs> it's kind of overwhelming. Let's move on to Let's do, let's do the mirror comedy. Sorry, I got excited about it, so we're gonna do it. <laughs> Jen said me. Okay, I love that queen. I got you, I got you. I'm gonna take a sip of water because this one's very exciting. Okay, before I reveal our skew for Kristen, it's gonna be 130601. And this is our Aurelia MM tote bag. Aurelia. I've never come across this. I've seen a lot of Mirakame pieces in my day, but I've never physically seen this one in person. And I love this. This is the perfect, easy, breezy Louis Vuitton tote style. Definitely like Mirakame fied, if you will. But a lot of the larger Mirakame bags to me are going to be very heavy and maybe a little bit more tedious to get in and out of. Whereas this one is just a true open tote style. No bells and whistles, but it is stunning. But the functionality is really the chef's kiss for me. So here it is on. Obviously we have the black rainbow monogram motif chunky hardware detailing with that signature front pocket. The monogram on this tote all throughout is very, very vivid. There's just a slight little bit of rub off along the piping right here on this yellow portion. I'm looking a little bit more here. So some slight rub off on high impact zones, I would say, corners. So it's gonna be more of like a seven out of 10 condition. All things considered though, this is a rarer style to be on the secondhand market. Again, I've never personally come across this. And I've come across a lot of Mirakame. And that's another thing too, is a lot of people that bought these bags in the early 2000s were not buying them to hold on to them and flip in the future. They were beloved and loved by most people who did get them. So it's very rare to come across Mirakame pieces that are in a fantastic condition level. I always wanna sell you guys on that. I wouldn't let the condition scare you for making that purchase or shy you away because even in a clearly pre-loved condition they still hold their value so this is under two thousand dollars which is fantastic i'm gonna keep showing you guys but this is 1575 pounds which is 1966 usd could not agree more jen i love the story it tells it gives a lived in vibe and it's designed to do that like the leather is designed to age along with you in your use of the bag and it just keeps getting more and more beautiful. Like I personally kind of prefer when it has a honey tone to the leather already all over. And in this case, I would say that the patina of the leather is very, very even. So let me get into the interior here. Then we have a Topi toned suede interior. This is huge, definitely would fit any size laptop for sure. And if you do want to cinch it in, you do have the button snaps on the side that allow you to do so. But any size laptop is gonna fit. You have leather lining along the top here. It does clasp together if you want to. Pocket on this side. It is a pocket along the back over here. Light signs of wear to the interior. There are a couple pen marks over in this area. But to me, I'm not bothered by this condition level. This is a super rare bag at a fantastic price, all things considered. Like, 
I love this. <laughs> it's my dream tote, if I'm being honest with you guys. So, she's pinned, she's available, and this is one I would not sleep on if you're considering it. I say go for it, because this is a real gem of a tote, especially if you just love the Miracame collaboration. It's my all-time favorite collaboration of any fashion house truly ever. This to me is the most iconic and most nostalgic for me. It's what I gravitate towards, so maybe I'm a little biased, but love her. Okay, <laughs> let's go back to a Gucci option. I've been trying to bring this to you guys for like over a week now, and today is finally the day where I was able to make it happen. Let's see, so next we are going to move to 130502, and this is gonna be our Gucci cream. Again, I'm on a cream and beige bender today, but this is our pebbled leather Jackie Hobo bag. It will come with its dust bag and an inner pochette, but this is so stinking cool, you guys. It is like the biggest mama Jackie bag of all time ever done in a cream pebbled leather. This is so chic for traveling your carry-on bag or work or school, whenever you need a lot of stuff but you want to look just like classy, elegant, elevated when toting stuff around. This is such a fantastic option. Oh my gosh, Harriet, I got you. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> a lot of little 3D critters and friends with kind of creepy eyeballs but I'm here for it and I hope you guys are here for them. <laughs> I figured my hands are up in your guys' face so much that I might as well make it like absurdly fun. Okay, so we have super pristine, very light cream pebbled leather for the entire exterior of this giant Jackie. It is so clean, it looks untouched. It does have that kind of new feel to it. Me too, Kristen, I'm a sucker for it. And then it's paired with this beautiful <clears throat> um, silver clasp, the classic Jackie clasp. And then you do have the Gucci logo. Why am I losing my voice? I'm sorry, guys. New York allergies are no joke. <clears throat> okay, better. <laughs> you do have the Gucci logo embossed into the leather down here. So you just push to open and get this unstuffed. It does still have its original like Gucci tissue paper in it, so it's in a very pristine condition level. And as mentioned, it does come with its Gucci dust bag, right? <laughs> I dressed for the cream occasion today, you guys. So inside of here, we do have a attached matching little pouch. It is. Oh, we still have our retail tag included as well. Okay, so you have a canvas interior to the pouch. The pouch is branded Gucci on the front. And then the interior of the bag features leather at the bottom base, and then a nice light muted cream suede interior. There is no call outs on this. This is absolutely, by all accounts, a pristine level condition piece. And I think we are ready to reveal the price on her. So I'll put her on now that it's empty. So you guys can see, I love this. So, wow, this is a fantastic price. Literally, I have the retail tag right here. And this sold for 2,990 USD. So our price today is 1,140 pounds, which is 1,423 USD. Literally, is that half? Let me do 20, 14, 14, 28. Yeah, literally less than half of what this went for at the point of purchase at retail. So that's an incredible deal. And this truly is in a like new condition level, you guys. So if you need a big bag, I think that's a fantastic option for you guys. 
but just you wait because coming up I have an even larger Gucci bag in today's show. I went kind of big today with some of the pieces, so hopefully you guys are here for that, but I do still have some smaller options as well. Okay. So how are we feeling? How are we doing, you guys? Let me know. Let me know what brands you're after. Gucci, more LV, I have some Prada, Chanel. I have a really funky Fendi bag. You guys have know if you were watching my shows last week. I was having a lot of funky moments. Not bad funky, but like cool funky. Just stuff I don't really see all that often and I wanted to share with you guys. So I do have a funky Fendi piece today. So maybe let's just go there next. I'm curious to see what you guys will think about this but this is also going to have a fantastic price so let me get this cute. okay our skew here is going to be 130869 and this is our Fendi pink and brown satin V bag so <laughs> On the topic of Y2K and early 2000s, this meets the mark for me. This is crazy, but I can feel like it's destined to go to a cool girl. I can just imagine like styling this, just doing an overall kind of like cargo effortless vibe with this bag. Like there's something about it. It has personality, it has flair, but it's just, it's really cool. Curious, but we have a mixture of very, very dark brown patent accents, and then we do have some brown velvet detailing, and then you have these brushed gold little, like, it's supposed to look like a giant belt buckle, if you can kind of see. So this would be the bit that goes through the hole on the belt, and it's done in that brushed gold with the Fendi Zuka in different directions. The body of the bag is that kind of rosy, dusty, Pink, it's on the border of a pink and a lavender, maybe a mauve. Tell me if you would categorize this as a mauve, but it is done in satin and the like ruching, the detail and the structure is just stunning to me. I really like this bag. It's another 360, so then you have the velvet detailing that goes down and around the corners of the bag. It's so pretty. So I'll throw her on the shoulder so we can see what it looks like. Audrey, I might have one that fits the mark today, but I will have more later this week, but maybe today will be a winner because the price is really good. Hi Sam, how are you? Happy Monday. So here she is on. We'll do the boy bag next for you though. Here it is open, so you have dark, dark brown, leather inner flap and a really nice condition level in the inner body of the bag. So let's get it unstuck. And then the interior is going to mirror the exterior. So not today. I'm so, so sorry. I will try to message you when I do come across one, but I just haven't gotten any new options yet to show you. So here's the interior. You have one inner pocket, the inner Fendi logo. I actually still has plastic protecting it, which is crazy. Wow. So overall, I would give this like a 7.9 condition level out of 10. Again, just lightly, lightly pre-loved, but this one doesn't have any major flaws, there aren't really any interior stains, so it's it's a really good condition level overall. And the price is also fantastic. There's a lot of good price points in the show today. So this is 500, sorry, stuff, 535 pounds, which is 667 USD. <laughs> <laughs> all right so that is her this is my only Fendi piece today you guys so apologies if you were looking for something more classic I kind of went crazy with this one today but I was just excited to see this bag yay happy Monday <laughs> as happy as a Monday can be okay let's do the boy bag so I don't know if this is going to be fully funky enough. It's an option, I'll have more options, but we'll see. So I do have a metallic silver 
and Palladium Hardware Chanel boy bag available today. Let me dive in. Yay! Go to Kristen's show sub. Kristen has amazing stuff. She's got you. Okay, so next SKU is going to be 130806. It's our silver calfskin medium boy bag. I love this. Metallics are never not relevant. I think you can always consider metallic bags and accessories to stay relevant. You can always style them in accordance with what's trending at the time or two with a classic outfit. A pop of metallic can really just add a little extra oomph to any outfit in my opinion. I like that this is edgy but that the metallic silver makes it a little bit more refined and classy in terms of like the boy bag silhouette. So obviously strap doubles up but also can pull through to be a crossbody. So if I put five for reference, here is on. Right, Zam? I love this. Let me take it off. So we have calfskin leather. Give you a overall look here. Some minor denting that will fix with time just from the storage of this bag. The side. Isn't it cool? And the back. Bottom all the way around. One tiny little mark here that you could take to a leather spa to get them to assist you in getting that off. But the condition callouts have been factored into this price. Okay, so let's dive inside. Just pinch to open. Yes, we'll get there. Audrey, I got you. I want to fully, fully look her over. Okay, so our series here is a series 20. Here it is open. This front section is looking good. We have some minor, like, I want to say true scratching, but some minor marks to the inner flap. They are very minor and faint, and they kind of disguise themselves from the metallic, but you can see in certain lighting at a certain angle that they do come through a little bit. Same. <laughs> it's honestly satisfying. I know exactly what you mean, Sam. So the interior is going to be a darker gray tone with one inner pocket. It does not come with a hard card, but the serial code is fully visible inside of there. We have one little pen mark down here. So overall, I would probably give this a 7.99 out of 10. It's a very high 7. I'm more tempted to give it an 8, but just to account for the stain, tiny little stain to the bottom of the leather and that little pen mark inside, that 7.99 sounds like a good condition rating. But yeah, as I mentioned, those callouts have been factored into the price here. This is a great price for a boy bag. It has just been pinned and here we go. This is 3,675 pounds, which is 4,587 USD. This would be a fantastic item to consider using split it on because split 36, 3675 over the span of 12 months would be a very doable monthly payment to invest in a metallic boy bag, you guys. Like, boy bags do go for a premium, especially kind of the funkier, more out there ones. So I thought this was a good deal. I wanted to bring it to you guys to kick off this Monday. And that is her. So that's my only boy bag option today. If you are still on the hunt for one, I would definitely encourage you to email me because I do have access to some other pieces, but a lot of them are very wild, like neon orange crocodile and like just other crazy options. So I felt like this was the safest, most universally liked option that I have, but definitely I want to help you get your dream boy bag. So that is her. I'm going to keep moving. Let's go back. Actually, let's follow it up with my only um, Bottega Veneta piece that I have today. So, if there's any other questions on this, don't hesitate to let me know. That price is fantastic, though. Okay, we'll keep moving. And jump into some Bottega. So, our next few is... 120767 and this is our great intrachiato leather olympia bag intrachiato there we go 
and my Italian is bad. My French, my Japanese, and a little bit of Mandarin. My Mandarin's like, eh, my Japanese is good, and my French is great. Italian, no, I struggle. <laughs> exactly, Zam, exactly that. All right, so on the topic of great price points, wanted to bring you guys this kind of darker, just true gray option for Bottega Veneta. I love this a lot, you guys. I think it's a perfect tone of gray. It's not too light, so it is easy to mix with our darker tone outfits, like with black jeans or black blazer. This would contrast ever so slightly with the dark gray. I love this, though. Let me know what you guys think. But of course, we have that stunning house staple in Trecciato leather. And then we do have a matte black. Um, it's a dark, dark gray, WL. I'll flip my camera to maybe help me a little better. Dark, dark gray. The little bomb guy on my nail is a true black, so he can help us out. That's a true black compared to the gray tone of this bag. But then the chain is done in a matte black. Thank you, little guy. That was actually very helpful. I'll just always keep a color palette on my nails so that I can stick a nail to compare colors. Life hack. Okay, so you can pull the chain through on this to convert it to a crossbody. Of course, it's my pleasure. So I'll throw it on. Again, I'm five foot five. For reference, it's very comfortable as a crossbody, very flattering on. Just check something real quick. Sorry guys, I'll be back in one second. Okay. So you do have the comfort straps at the top of the chain. I came through with the deals. I was not playing on this Monday, you guys. <laughs> Here's the bottom, yeah. This is one of the best price Bottega pieces I've had in a while. This is $860, just barely over a thousand USD at 1073. Let's dive inside. Nice firm button snap here. I love that the edge of the leather is kind of a woven detail. It adds a little extra contrast and texture to the front flap. And then we do have two separate compartments inside of the bag. For my organized queens, you have two areas to work with. So it is lined with suede. The front one has our inner logo embossed to the leather. And this front pocket is nice and clean and issue free. The back pocket just has a little bit of discoloration in this area. Very minor. Looks like a mascara stain. And then we do have a zip pocket to the back. Check in here and this zip pocket is nice and clean. So that's my only Bottega today, but this is one of the best price Bottega pieces we've had in New York City in a while. And I think it's really cute. I honestly love a dark gray moment, so. Hi, Fran. Thank you, I appreciate that. I feel I'm always self-conscious about my Italian pronunciation. I feel like it can go real wrong real fast, <laughs> but that was very validating for me, so I appreciate that. Okay, okay. Gonna keep moving. If you guys have any questions, let me know. But that is her. Okay, let's do a little Louis Vuitton up next. I think this is the perfect piece for spring summer. This is going to be 130653, and I do have a Domi Azor. Spirone BB backpack. This does come with a success bag. I am in love with this. I'm seriously, seriously in love. I think this is so sweet. Look at this little Domier's or backpack, you guys. I feel like it's hard to come across mini Louis Vuitton backpacks in general, but I think this is my first time seeing a Dami Azor mini backpack. Mimi, if you're referring to this guy, it will come with its dust bag. This is darling. It is so cute. Features a front and side zip with a blown up zip pull. The gold is in immaculate, immaculate condition. Then you have the little more hardware details and the faux buckle strap. It's actually a magnetic button snap, but it gives off the illusion of a buckle. The leather is in fantastic condition. In the back, you have the little top handle. Then you have this leather strip that does say Louis Vuitton. 
And then you have the adjustable and also removable backpack strap, so you could convert it to be a crossbody, you could add your own. For my friends on Instagram, make sure to join us at the website if you guys want to see these products better. I know the angle is not fantastic, I apologize. But join us on the website, and my other phone has a way better view. Okay, so here it is on. Right now it's on a very long length, but you can do it up like so. Lots of different lengths to play around with. This is so, so cute. But again, as you can see, even at the bottom, you can remove the strap. So you can have just one strap. You can wear it kind of like a sling, like so. That could be cute. Or you could do it on the back. I would wear the other one on the back, but like a little crossbody back moment. So let's start with this exterior. There we go, <laughs> zip pocket. Just easily, slyly throw some cash cards into here. And then a cherry on top is that the lining of this bag is ballet slipper pink suede, my favorite. A little girly at a touch. So we'll open it up. And then you do have the drawstrings done in leather. So we'll pull this open. And then, as promised for Mimi, here is the dust bag that it comes with. And then we have a absolutely spotless baby pink or ballet slipper pink interior. The top inner flap too is in fantastic condition. And then our inner zip pocket, or not zip pocket, just inner pocket right here. So I would give this a nine out of 10 condition level. I don't have any call outs. The interior is spotless. And this is a really cute, 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 cute piece. So the Sperone BB backpack is available for 1,895 pounds, which is 2,365 USD. I love her. Let me know what your guys' vibe is. If you would prefer like the Palm Springs Louis Vuitton backpack, over this, I think I've been converted after seeing this in person to now the Speroni, I think has my heart over the Palm Springs. It's a little bit more easy breezy, in my opinion. Okay. So, oh my God, this next piece is from Louis Vuitton as well. This is a deal. It's out there. It's another funky pick from me, but I don't know, something about this, I am a big fan. So, I'm curious to see y'all's reaction to this. This is going to be 130504, and this is a Vernice Alma BB, but it is Louis Vuitton Monogram Stickers Alma BB. So we kind of have a funky 1950s inspired Kind of like a diner inspired graphic print to the Vernie. Here she is. I think this is cool. I think this is really cool. I would love, love, love to style this piece. The price point is fantastic. But as you can see, it is that traditional Vernie patent. So you do have the monogram texture done on there. But then you do have these odd little graphics. So you have like a trunk crossbody bag graphic. All the graphics are doubled. You have salt and pepper shakers. You have vintage headphones, little takeout meal scenarios, vintage car. We have vintage makeup, a vintage little sign, like a tape recorder, just a lot of funky, unexpected items scattered all over this Alma. And then of course we have black patent contrast to the base, right Robin? I think this is so cool. It's so different. I love it. And it does come with its crossbody strap. So it's just a proper album maybe just funkified, if you will. <laughs> it's so cute. I'll check on that Ellen, because I haven't either. This is my first time encountering this. The gold hardware is super, super shiny still. We do have the lock included. Do you see that price, you guys? For an Alma BB, that is unheard of. <laughs> Checking momentarily. Sorry, guys, gotta check on the date. So it will come with its dust bag. And this is made in France. Let me see. They always put it in like a very tight pocket. Looks 
looks like. I have to get the lighting right. 2015, 2015. So you have a black canvas interior, some little inner markings, mainly on the pocket here, but since this is black canvas, you could absolutely clean that up. But yeah, exactly that, Ellen. I've never encountered this before. It is from 2015, so I would imagine that this came out like when they launched these kind of re-editioned trunk crossbody pieces as maybe a way to kind of celebrate that launch and the vibe of bringing a classic and making it modern. It will super, super pop. It would look so good with an all black outfit or like a black little skirt, black shirt, the blazer and this would be amazing with a red lip and some cat eye sunglasses. Sorry, I have a whole vision. But the price is everything, you guys. 675 pounds, which is 842 USD. Maybe not everyone's cup of tea, but I am a fan. I would totally go for this. And for under a thousand USD, that's incredible for an Alma Beauty. All right, I'll keep us moving. about 35 more minutes because we do have to end up a little earlier since they close up early around here but i'm gonna make the most of it you guys so i'm gonna keep that piece up but if you have questions let me know let's do real quick let's get this gucci belt up so up next we have 124984 and for spring we have a pink leather double gg belt this is going to be in the size 80 from gucci it does come with its dust bag dust bags included but she's pink you guys look how cute this is in pristine condition level it is the skinny gg belt i have a lot more chanel rochelle so stay with me actually lots of really awesome pieces coming up so we have a shiny Serena, no jewelry tonight. Me and Grace are planning on doing a really epic New York City jewelry show on Friday. We'll have some other pieces scattered in our upcoming shows this week, but we're starting off with just bags today. I love this color too, Kristen. It's a nice, I call this otter pop pink because you guys know what otter pops are. This is the exact like shade of the pink one, but it's just a more vivid pastel-y pink. Smooth leather. You have the inner stamping here. This is a size 80. Let's see. 80 on my waist. The tightest one would be around there. And then on my hips, I could wear this on my hips. So I would say this would work for like the range of a US two, maybe up to a six or like a two four. So roughly that's what it would look like on the hips. I think this would look darling over like our spring floral dresses around the waist. That's the vibe that I would go for. But she's available for 367 pounds, which is 458 USD. Short and sweet, just wanted to get her up for you guys. But like 9.9 .9 out of 10 condition level, looks unworn, is unworn, no shines of wear. And in pink, she's so cute. All right, and has its dust bag as well. So let's keep it moving. I'll jump to another Chanel option next for you guys. It will be a full set scenario. <laughs> Right. So up next, Kristen, we're going to do 114, 357, full set scenario, and this is our gold metallic lizard golden class wallet on chain from Chanel. It comes with its box dust bag care booklet. I've never seen this before. I think it is stunning again on the theme of my cream tones today. I have to flip this. It is so cool. So it is lizard, but it does have like a glossy finish done over it. So it's not as delicate as you might expect, but also in that finish, 
We have super micro sparkles done with kind of a rainbow effect. So the bag does read as cream, but in certain lighting, the little like flickers, Ugh, my lighting is not doing it justice, but there's tiny, tiny sparkles that do give off a rainbow sheen. So, what is this? It's is so cool. Give you guys a 360 and this unique kind of clasp too. I am loving how the CC hangs down and functions as the clasp. But there's a view, 360 of the exterior and the top, the corners. All right, so I'm gonna flip you guys back. Let's throw her on. So here she is on as a crossbody. Super elegant. This is definitely an elegant option when it comes to wallet on chains. And then to open, you just pull the CC up. The CC does have a little bit of tarnish towards its outer edges. So we do have that call out, but double up the chain. I feel like the chain on this is definitely a bit skinnier than our average wallet on chain. It just has a little bit of extra spice. Isn't this cool, Susie? Have you ever seen this before? I have not. So here she is on, doubled up. Super cute. So let's actually dive inside now. The interior is gonna be like a pearlized cream leather. So you do have that same sheen effect happening. Let's start at the front here. You have the front pocket, visible serial code. This is the series 26. It's nice and clean in that front pocket. And then you have the zip compartment following. Super clean in there as well. Test the zipper, works like a charm. Then behind that, our wallet portion. A bit of discoloration happening in here, but you have six card holders in here. And then of course, the zipper on the top flap. So I would give this, again, I'm gonna lean towards a seven, like a 7.8 out of 10. Minor signs of wear, definitely a pre-loved bag, but still something I've never seen. I feel like it's a rarer piece to come across, something that most people are not gonna have, but it's still, elegant and classic at the same time. Classic with some spice. So she's available as a full set for 3,400 pounds, which is 4,245 USD. All right, let's keep it going. Grace inspired me on this one. She got like this really cool Fendi bag earlier and then we were talking about travel and then I came across this. I was like, this is such a major resort dinner, night out, girls night out. Pays from Prada, I love this. So we have this Raffia black and dark brown with gold hardware Prada clutch. Seriously stunning. The SKU here, Kristen, is 130550, and wow, this is insane. So it's called the Mom Jars Clutch. It will come with its dust bag, care booklet, and product hard card. Right, Kristen, do you see the vision? It's totally like island vacation, but it's dinner time, so we gotta make it a little bit more formal. We gotta step out, but we're still an island girl. You feel me? I love this. The black and the tone of brown here is seriously, seriously stunning. It has a gloss finish over it, with help, which helps for the durability of this clutch. It's not going to fray. You don't really have to worry as much because of that coating with the checkard detailing. And then you do have a leather with gold hardware Prada emblem front and center. It does have a zip top with gold hardware. It is ultra mega shiny. And then as promised, you do get the dust bag included here. Even the interior is just like extra special on this. It's so chic. So you have a little card holder pocket right here. Kind of a texturized suede interior. You have an inner leather logo. And this is 
marked as made in India, which I've never seen from Prada before, but I'm assuming just the craftsmanship and the design of this required them to source in, um, Indian manufacturers that like specialize with this type of textile. So that to me is extra cool. And then you have the pocket here and the zip pocket in the back with the Prada hard card and care booklet. So this is a fantastic price. This is like a 9.9 .9 out of 10 condition. Very much so giving like new vibes. She is available for 535 pounds, which is 667 USD. Like the shine of this, and it's so fun to hold. The texture just feels bougie and rich and elevated. I love her. Love her. Okay. See, we have about 25 minutes, you guys. So if at any point you are wanting me to do a recap real quick, I'm totally happy to do so starting now. But I do have some more pieces that you haven't seen yet available that are coming up. So we're gonna keep moving along with those. So next, we'll do One two seven eight six one, and we're gonna do our Gucci red satin and floral embroidered jacquard mini Sylvie. I don't know how you guys feel about Sylvie bags, but I think they're one of my most favorite silhouettes from Gucci, and I've always, always, always loved and lusted after this exact one. I think it is beyond stunning. Isn't this special, Kristen? So cool. So it is a very, very fine silk with stitched embroider floral detailing. Really pretty. I love how these two flowers drop and kind of frame along the front here. Then we have super smooth, shiny black leather along the sides and an immaculate condition level. The back carries on the floral detailing and then you have gold leather that frames the navy and red house stripe with the chunky gold chain accent that continues across the top of the bag and turns into the front clasp. So the top handle is also going to be that super shiny black leather. And then to open, you just pull down and pull up here. So we don't have the long strap included with this and that has been reflected in the price. But you do have the option, at least, to add your own if you wanted to, which is a perk to me, at least. So you do have these two loops that you could add a gold chain for your luxury comes to sell some, or even Amazon. Like, there's chains for every budget, you guys. You can add a long strap for cheap, or you can ball out, whatever your preference is. But this does allow you to add that. And then you just have a boxy inner compartment lined with the super, super soft. This is more of like a micro suede lining here with one inner pocket so i would give her i'm gonna give her an 8.9 out of 10 just to account for the fact but the actual condition of the bag does not warrant any call outs like it is stunning so we will get her pinned and reveal the price momentarily and it is a small bag but it's not the mini so you definitely can still fit your iPhone or any other phone in here. Phone, wallet, keys, some makeup essentials will fit in here, you guys. So, one second. And... Cool, so she is available. This is a great price for this bag. This is going to be 810 pounds, which is 1,011 USD, and someone got the Prada clutch. Amazing. That one was too good. So congrats, congrats to whoever picked her up. I'm infinitely jealous, and I hope you take the most gorgeous pictures clutching this beauty. It deserves it. She did not deserve to not sell today. This has to be out and about in the world during summer. So great find, and congrats again. Again, this is up and available now too, but I am going to keep us moving. Yay, I'm so happy that she got home. <laughs> okay, 
let's do, I mean, let's do something crazy. I brought this out for you guys. It is definitely, definitely a crazy piece. But. Brittany, it was you, WL. I'm so sorry, but general rule is if you snooze, you lose. I hate to say it, but it is true. It's happened to me where I'm like waiting to decide, but then you're always risking someone else swooping it. So if you love something, you guys, your best bet is to just go for it. <laughs> Not to play devil's advocate, but I'm just saying. Right, Kristen? <laughs> this is crazy. So let me give you the skew for this. But I, by all means, absolutely would just keep this on display when I'm not using it like as decor because it's too stunning not to. I'm obsessed with this. Maybe I'm biased because I am a lover of insects and nature so a lot of these Gucci pieces really do it for me but I thought that maybe you guys could appreciate this one too. So this cue here is right 117367 and this is the ivory leather and web floral tapestry duffel bag so it's named a duffel bag I don't know if I would really technically agree with the statement of this being a duffel bag it's more of like a structured giant travel briefcase if that makes sense like it is large and in charge but it is very very structured it does have tapestry as the material atop the pebbled cream leather. It features the house logo, Gucci embossed in the leather right here. And then we have this um, like needlepoint patchwork honeybee front and center, very Gucci. You have cream pebbled leather accent detailing and then that house stripe in the navy in the red colorway. I love that they paired it with the cream leather. I think it really allows the floral tapestry to pop. Something about this, I'm obsessed. So to open, this does like function on the front for security as a proper belt buckle style, but you could just leave this unclasped. Thank you, Ellen. I like these fun, funky moments with you guys. So thank you for allowing me to bring some kind of more unique pieces to you guys. But the top of the bag is going to function as a magnetic snap, so you have multiple magnets to that attach. And then for added security, you guessed it, another belt buckle, so you can leave this up to kind of cinch the bag in, but I'm going to undo it. And then bear with me because I do have to set it down on this chair next to me to properly show you guys. Let's see. So you can undo it and the bag is a bit wider. Arm workout in for it opens up like so. You have the house stable canvas lining. This is a very deep, very large bag. I feel like you could put a collection of records in here, even if you wanted to use this to store your records. We have a zip pocket on the back here, inner Gucci logo, serial code on the back, and another zip pocket on the side. So it's not designed to come with a long strap and it doesn't come with one, but it's just a huge, ultra unique, kind of show-stopping, wow, collectible piece. It's something that I feel like Lana Del Rey would have. <laughs> so cool. So we'll get the price posted and she will be pinned momentarily, you guys. This is the largest bag that I have in the show today. She is so cool. She's available for 1,360 pounds, which is 1,697 USD. Extremely fair price <laughs> for this giant structured, like travel briefcase, Gucci galore, crazy piece, you guys. I thought this price was fantastic. It's in a great, great, great nine out of 10 condition level. It's just so cool. So it's up, it's available going to keep us moving. The shout out brands that you guys are wanting to see, we still have a little over 15 minutes left together. There's still stuff to get through, but I am open to recaps at any point. And there's been so many good pieces in the show today, you guys, some like incredible price points that I'm shocked did not find a home. So if there's anything I can 
do to help sway you or tempt you, just let me know. But I'm going to keep us on a quick little Gucci streak, because why not? So we're going on a polar opposite end of the Gucci spectrum. We are sizing down. So up next, we're going to do one, two, three, zero, four, zero. And this is going to be our Gucci white green leather logo print camera crossbody bag. I love this little guy. Right now it's done up quite tight, but this is literally Ellen. <laughs> WL, yes, I have a vintage Chanel coming up and a Chanel backpack. I have like some mini crossbodies. So let me know. If you guys are on Instagram and asking for prices and stuff, just join me on the website. I'm actually live there. So I'll be happy to help you with any questions if you go to luxurycoms.com. But yes, I have some more Chanel, long story short, vintage and modern. But we have this little guy, another cutie cutie, more modern piece from Gucci in that white pebbled leather with the house logo and traditional red and green stripes underneath it. So the strap is adjustable right now. It's done up super, super short but I prefer her as a crossbody. So let's get it a bit longer. And then pull through. I can never, I am literally the worst with adjustable straps. There we go. <laughs> so you can do it even longer, but just give you guys an idea. Yeah, that this is a great functional, easy breezy crossbody mini bag. I always recommend this one, and I actually see this bag a lot at like concerts and events because it does just fit the phone, the wallet, the essentials, but it's not annoying to carry around and you can't do it up tighter so it stays kind of flush against your body, if that makes sense. But we do have a front pocket here. It has brush gold hardware. There's little bits and pieces hiding in here. So front pocket is lined with the house staple canvas. Look, oh my God, it's my lucky day. I found a dime. <laughs> the universe just tipped me. Thank you, universe. <laughs> I love when that happens. <laughs> and then we'll open it up in the main compartment. We'll come with its Gucci dust bag. And the interior also done in that nice, super durable canvas material with the inner logo and serial code. So it's 9 out of 10 condition, very fantastic, no exterior markings, no damage, no signs of wear, it is good to go. And like I said, opposite end of the spectrum from the giant duffel we just showed. So we'll get this price revealed momentarily for you guys. Chanel next. All right, so this is available for 863 pounds, which is 1,077 USD. And let me be real with you guys, for just like $600 more, basically, you can get the giant, giant travel duffel moment from Gucci. I would go with that, absolutely. I think that is the one to get if you're after Gucci today, but I did want to bring a more functional daily option, of course, for you guys. But that duffel, I don't know guys, she's really doing it for me. Okay, up next we're gonna do some vintage Chanel. Little vintage vanity case, black patent, 24K gold hardware. So cool. Kristen, let me know in the listing for this one if it shows the date. Penelope, yes, we do offer split it. Um, Kristen, what's the, I know the double circle, the, there is a cutoff to be able to use split it, but if it does qualify, then you are able to break up the payment over the span of 12 months. As long as you have the item's full amount available as credit on a credit card, then you're good to go. You can break up that payment over 12 months. But if at any point you want to just pay it off, you're totally able to do so. You're not stuck with the full 12 months. It's up to you how you want to do it. So hopefully that's helpful. Let me know if there's any other questions about that. 
And then for Kristen, the next skew is 130524. This is vintage, vintage. So I'm curious to see the year because sadly the serial code is kind of. Oh, sorry, the year on this. The serial code is just a little bit like scratched up, so I can't make it out. But my guess is it's early because we have this old school style zip. I love this in the patent with the turn lock too. This is really cool. Of course, Penelope, my pleasure. And it'll be like, it'll come up as an option to use once you go to check out. So the bottom does feature the CC done into the patent. This patent is really beautiful actually. It's held up very nicely. Gotcha. Thank you, Kristen. Yeah, 95, 96. We have a little bit of wear through on the gold on just the front turn lock. The gold has kind of worn off a little bit, but the CC is solid gold. So we'll open her up. And then it does zip right now, I have it unzipped. But it features a black lambskin leather interior. Thank you. Cool, thank you, Kristen. Appreciate it. So the glory days, the Barbie collection. And then this is made in France, so you know that quality is a one superior, super, super awesome collectible piece. I think this is stunning. I would keep this out on display at like on my vanity, nice to my perfume, just always out. Just a real heirloom special piece to have. And I love the size of this one. It's not a mini, but it's not super large. It's just like just right, in my opinion. So I would give it maybe like a 7 out of 10 condition level. There's just a little bit of signs of wear to the patent right here on the front. But I think if you do take this to like a leather spa or cobbler, that this could be fixable. So 7 out of 10 from 1995 to 1996 Barbie collection vanity case. And she will be pinned and the price will go up momentarily. There we go. Perfect. So it's available for £3,050, which is $3,808 USD. Okie dokie, guys. How am I on time? Let me know. Don't be shy. If there's any recap requests, please shout it out and let me know. I do have some more pieces still, but we are kind of running short on time. So you guys can click the handbag icon or if it's on the side of your screen, all the products that I've shown should be up and available to view, to browse. So if you have questions on them or want to see them again, don't feel bad asking for that. I'm more than happy to help. Okay, let's do another Chanel piece. This is actually a backpack. This is so cool. I love this one. So we are jumping over to 130329. And this is the bicolor calfskin small Gabrielle backpack. So we've seen the Gabrielle shoulder bags before, but I don't know if I've ever actually encountered a Gabrielle drawstring backpack before. So we have the white textured calfskin leather. Hello, IJ. Let me double check for you. I don't believe, actually, I think it does. Let me double check. Let's see here. There are no, it does not, unfortunately, but it will come with a luxury promise suspect. But we don't have the Bottega one with it. But it's so good. I love this bag. Okay. Back to the backpack. So we have that white texturized calfskin leather. Since it is a Gabrielle piece, we have mixed hardware happening here. So the front CC is done in that palladium kind of brushed, darker hardware. And then the chain features the palladium, the polished silver, and the gold both brushed and polished. They have all different hardwares combined into one, making up the chain of the bag. And then we have the smooth black leather structured base that is iconic from all of the Gabrielle pieces. Super pretty. There is some minor corner wear, 
This too, I'm probably gonna give more of like a seven out of 10 condition level, but it has been reflected in the price. The front chain has, the metal has kind of done a color transfer to the front here. But the good thing about that is the strap pretty much is always right here, so it kind of masks it. But that's my main call out on this piece. But it's so cute. So we'll throw her on. And look, it's a darling little white and black backpack with all the different hardware. This would match absolutely everything. But I'm obsessed with the fact that you have the different colored metal on the strap. So as you wear it, that really kind of pops and shines through. So let's look inside. Just pull the chain, open it up with the bucket bag. And then it has a red interior. This is gonna be a series 26. But we do have some interior stains. So in this area right here, and one darker scene down there on the bottom. So I'm gonna stay true, like a seven out of 10 condition level piece. Definitely pre-loved, but absolutely something I have never come across before. It's super cool, super easy to wear and actually functionally use. So we'll get this price up. And then I'll probably show one more thing. But if you guys have requests, please help me help you. Remember customs and duties are only covered while I'm live here with you. So definitely if you're on the fence about anything, if there's anything you're thinking about, let me know. Happy to show it again so that you can take advantage of that. But so the backpack is available for 3,395 pounds, which is 4,238 US. Okay, I'm just gonna hold up and flash everything that I haven't shown yet to you guys. So you can stop me if there's something that you want to be shown. So the first item that we didn't get to is our Diamond Micro Chanel Hot Pink Mini Crossbody. That's option number one. This is in lambskin, immaculate condition. But she's a micro, like she's very, very tiny. It's super, super cute. The vanity does not have a mirror moira. Just um, all lambskin leather to the interior. So that is one that we didn't get to. I have another dummy Azor piece from Louis Vuitton. So, yeah, of course, WL. Well. Look, bounce to there. This option I didn't get to either. So if you want to see it and see the price, let me know. And then we also didn't get to our little Gucci Marmont black camera bag. She can go up as well as I'm interested. And my little um, mini pink Caskin Chanel vanity case full set. We didn't get to either. So we had a request to recap the Fendi, which I love. All right. So here's a second look at her. So cool. It's kind of a mauve purplish, pinkish, but very pastel, stunning silk. Vermont. Do you mean the Marmont, IJ? <laughs> we can do that next real quick for you. But you have the, um, you guys want the Marmont? Okay. We will bounce there next. You have the blown up belt buckle detailing, and it's a mixture of velvet brown patent leather, and then brushed gold hardware with the Fendi Zuka peeking out. It is just a shoulder bag in like a medium size. So here it is on. The price was fantastic for this. It has just been repinned. And then it opens up like so. You have a brown leather interior flap. And then the interior mirrors the exterior. Of course. Yeah, this is incredibly special. Um, Shanna, I know it's over 3,000 USD. Don't know exactly off the top of my head, but maybe we can just get it pinned just in case. It's so cool, huh, Robin? All right, so she is repinned, you guys, for this one. I gave it like an 8.9 out of 10 condition. Honestly, it looks fantastic. It's held up beautifully. Just a super cool, 
cool girl statement bag to have at a fantastic price. So that's our recap there. And then you guys are wanting the Gucci Marmont, but I like Gucci Vermont. <laughs> so we'll go there next. little guy oh you already got it just kidding you're a step ahead of me <laughs> so the price on this is 920 pounds which is 1148 USD it is the black with shiny gold hardware in a really really nice condition level you have the GG on the back here you have long tassels it's like the camera bag style versus the top flap which I find is much easier to get in and out of it's way more functional for daily wear, here it is on as a crossbody. I am 5 of 5 for reference. <laughs> Hi Z, yes, we just have bags today, but we will have jewelry, watches, wallets, and more coming up this week. Alright, let me show you the inside of this little guy. So, it will just come with its Gucci like papers and care booklets. And then the interior has some stains happening, some discoloration down along the center. It doesn't look like anything super permanent though, so I reckon that you could definitely get this cleaned up. And then one inner pocket here. So that is the mini Marmont. Little camera back crossbody. Definitely would fit any size iPhone. I just put it up against my normal phone. And it swallowed it, so it's mini, but it's mighty. You can fit your phone inside. And let me know, you guys, are there any other requests? I'm going to flash some of the pieces I showed that I cannot believe are still available because of their price points. and just They're good, you guys. So we kicked it off with this super, super, super well-priced Chanel East West lambskin shoulder bag. I believe this was like 1100 something USD. Fantastic price. I don't know how this is not sold. Same with our cream tote. This also was in the low, just over a thousand USD. These price points were incredible for Chanel. These were the first two items that I showed. Yes, WL. This first option can cross. It will be a bit of higher cross, but you absolutely can cross by it. So here it is on. Do it to the back, like so. Or you can wear it as a long shoulder bag as well. Moira, it sold. If it's the square one, it did end up selling during that live. It was too good to be true. That price was crazy. There was a lot of you guys that were after it, and then it did end up being able to be purchased during the show. So she has her home. I know, Lizzie. Like guys, <laughs> I thought y'all would go crazy for this, so she's still here. Also my little Gucci shoulder bag, the price was under 500 USD. Of course Moira will find you something of similar, if not better, of a deal and a better piece. Do what I can for you, girl. This little guy too was fantastic, but you guys, I am going to humbly ask you if there are any Last request, please let me know so that I can get you your customs and duties covered while we are still live together. Again, apologies, we did have to start an hour later than normal today, and they close up kind of early here, so I have to get ready to help clean up and close up for the day. So I'll give you guys a moment to let me know if there's anything I can recap, or just drop what you want to see upcoming this week out of New York City. Again, Grace is here with me now, so starting tomorrow, we're going to be pumping out multiple shows a day together. It's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of great pieces. So definitely, definitely come back and support us while she's in town. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Lizzie. Try to do something fun. Fun and funky. Oh, also this one. How did this not... An Alma baby 
for like 800 something USD. So the whole rest of the week out of New York City, we have lives from 3 to 5 p.m., like our standard time, and then there will also be shows around 10 a.m. EST. So for sure we have our solid 3 to 5, but some other earlier shows scattered in. This one too, I cannot believe did not sell. So you guys, just one more minute to let me know if there's anything else I can recap for you, if there's anything I can help you with. Fran. There was one pocket inside that had just like some minor stains. So the main front pocket did not, like the exterior of the bag is perfect. There's no call out, same with the straps. And then let me show you the inside one more time. So this front to larger pocket has no discoloration or stains, it's good to go. This back smaller pocket just has a super light like mascara wand stain happening here, which in my experience, mascara wand stains are relatively easy to get out. There are remedies for that and it's just in this smaller pocket. So this one's good to go, just a little stain here. But I love this bag. You can wear it two ways, long strap, crossbody, double up. Shoulder bag, it's a beautiful dark gray tone, and it's the best price Bottega I've had in a long time. So definitely, definitely, if you can do it, if you like her, if you're thinking about her, I fully support going full speed ahead with this one. I think it's stunning. All right, of course, Fran. All right, guys, is there anything else, any last minute requests before I help out of here? I know the price is so good, Kristen. I thought I was late with the pricing today. <laughs> Everyone say thank you to Kristen for being as lovely as ever, for being our best mod. We love Kristen, so thank you, Kristen. And we're missing you. Me and Grace miss you, dude. So. All right, I'll do a dramatic 10 second countdown to really drive home, I know. <laughs> gonna drive home the fact that we are gonna end. So we will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow we have our morning show at 10 a.m. Lizzie, no, get off of there. It doesn't exist to me. I don't know anything about Van Island. But I'll be back at 10 a.m. for a power hour show here on the website. And then midday, Grace will be live on Instagram with Christos. And then Grace and I will be back from three to 5 p.m. EST tomorrow. So a jam-packed day for New York City tomorrow, but we're ready to be back to kill it, to crush it, and have a lot of fun with you guys. So thank you all for being so lovely. Have a beautiful rest of your Monday. I appreciate you all so, so much, and we'll be back tomorrow with a bang. So see you then. Bye now.